my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course so in this video I'm going to show you how to do the title pages of your book so right now nothing is formatted these are the front matter pages the first page of your book, um, unless you want like a one page buffer page before, then it'll be a little different. But otherwise, the first page of your book is going to be your just the title, title page. And you can do this one of two ways. So this is a children's book I've been working on, and I've got the cover done. And it's important to have the cover done first, because, um, let me make, no, we'll keep it this way. So, um... It's important to have your cover done first because you want your title pages to match your cover as best as possible. Um, and so what I mean by that is whatever font you have on your cover is the font you want on your title page. So you can do this one of two ways. In this children's book, we're going to do it this way. So we're going to have on the cover, we have a font called Handmade um, for the cover it's called handmade and it's on canva it is not on word and so you want to get as close as possible um and it is almost indiscernibly close to um comic sans where's comic sans so you just want to find the font that is or is as close as possible to what is on your title page <laughs> and now that's tiny um and so you want to change the font you want to change the font size Let's just see what 36 looks like. 36 may be doing it. And I turned on my paragraph marks. You turn on your paragraph marks with that little thing here. So I can see how many paragraph marks I have um, on this page. And there's one after the title because I hit the enter, enter key after Tiny Sam. And so there may be a more technical way to do this. Or you may be able to just use your um, enter key to kind of put it not quite in the center of the page but a little bit above the center of the page um, and then you want to center your title and turn off the paragraph marks to see what it looks like so now you can see tiny Sam is a little bit above center and that's how you do your title page okay so I said well that's how you do your first title page um, the other type, then you'll put, you'll have your title page that's just with the title, and then you will have a blank page, which will be the left hand page. Because remember, you open your book like this, and so this one's going to be on the right side over here, um, and then you're going to have this left page that's blank, and then you're going to have your full information title page over here on the right again. Um, and so, again, it'll be easier to watch over here without that awful glare that I can't get rid of. Um, you want to change the font, Comic Sans, we had used 36, you make it pretty much the same size. If you have a ton of information on your second title page, you may not want to make it as big, um, but that's kind of up to you. And then you want to have it on the same line, yeah, that's on the same line now. Um, and then you will put by... The author names and you want to center those and you don't want these as big as your 
um, title because they'll overshadow overshadow your title. I forgot to center my title. Center your title. Um, and these are kind of big, so we are gonna make them a little bit smaller. Maybe twenty two. Let's see what twenty two looks like. That's better. Okay, so you can put your by the author names. We, there's two authors in this case in a different font, or you can put it in the same font, whichever you want. I'm going to put it in the same font because as a children's book, I just want the feel of the fun. Um, and now that made the font a little bit bigger. And so there's these two buttons right here. You can just hit them to make the font a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller um, without opening up the whole big thing over here and scrolling through. Um, and that's really convenient. And so turn off your paragraph marks and kind of just look at it. Does that look right when you think about it? Um, if this is a book page, does it look like it'll be nice? Um, that kind of take an, takes an artist's eye sometimes. But those are how you do your title pages. If you just want to use words font. So the other way I'm going to show you with a different book of mine. So these are the two title pages done the same way. Um... I mean, done in the same order. Title page, blank page, full information. And this one, we have the title, we have the subtitle, we have written and illustrated by A.J. Pruitt. That's me. I wrote and illustrated the book. And then we have the publisher's logo, my logo, because I publish my own books. Um, and that's the full information you want on there. On our children's book, we haven't decided what we're going to put as the publishing logo because there's two of us. Um, haven't figured that out yet, but that's okay. But the big thing on here is sometimes if you have a, or if you have a cover designer, or if you are your own cover designer, you may have the font that is on your cover. And now I do not have the same font on my title page as on my cover because on my cover, the font is in an arc. Um, but I, it's my handwriting on my Anathalian books. The title font on the cover is my handwriting. And so I make the title font on the title pages my handwriting. I just do it straight across. So it's the same font, um, just in a different format. But it is a picture. It is not a font I created on the computer. It's a picture I drew. And so that is going to be you going up here, clicking insert, insert tab, go to pictures, and you would from this device and then it's going to open up a box that lets you find a picture on your device to insert right here. And then you're going to go through um, the picture format. The texture app will be, I have this one set as through, you can also do top and bottom um, and then the position, I don't want to mess it up, and then the position is going to be centered, you're going to go to alignment, centered, relative to the column. Um, I go into pictures in a different video more in depth but that's just a quick how you would put in your title font if your title font is actually a picture um, and a special note make sure that you use go up here to the view tab turn on your grid lines right here and make sure that your title font does not come outside those grid lines so you can see it just barely is inside the grid lines if you put it outside the grid lines you'll end up with a weird line in your book. Um, it happened to me because it was just a touch outside this grid line. Um, and it just made this weird line and just moving it inside those grid lines makes it go away, makes it fine. So make sure you do all that. Um, so that is how, that is two different ways to create your title pages. Um, just using the font that Word gives you and using a picture that either you create or your t um, cover creator gives you. Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting. So please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching.
Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.